Hello and welcome to another video on my channel. Today we discussed the fast attack slots, but not all the units because it's quite bloated. Um, I would like to remind you that we have a Discord server that's still growing, and if you want to have a heresy community to share your models with or talk about the Horus Heresy, I think our Discord server is a good spot to do it. So please click the cl uh, the link on the uh, in the description and join the server. Okay, so now we talk about the attack bike attack bike squadron. So basically, it costs forty points and it's basically an attack bike from Warhammer Forty K. So the bike with the carriage next to it uh, that has a heavy ba uh, heavy bolter or heavy weapon in Forty K, I think even. And yeah, it's. Uh, not the best uh, it doesn't it isn't the most fleshed out choice so it will be kind of short um so it can have a range of heavy weapons it can have an auto ca an auto cannon for 10 points a heavy bolter for free a heavy melter for, a heavy flamer for free or a multi melter for 10 points um you can have the squadron with five attack bikes uh, the sad thing is for the horse heresy this has no models Although I've seen some good conversions with an Outrider bike, just uh, adding the gun carriage to the side of the um, the gun carriage of the attack bike to the side of an Outrider bike, that works and is fine. So maybe you can do that. Um, but I think them alone being in an attack bike squadron, I don't know how to feel about it really. Um, I think you would get more from them if you can get them in an Outrider squad. Uh, I've yet to see them. I think Mecha from the Outer Circle has some attack bikes. And they look all obviously gorgeous, but uh, I don't know. So then we come to the Outrider squad, to which an attack bike or two attack bikes should be an upgrade to. The, up uh, the Outrider squad are the... Um, they are the bike squads, like the bikes with the wheels, uh, for the Horus Heresy. They are 90 points base, and you need to pay 15 points to have a sergeant, which I think is overpriced. They should just come with a sergeant at 90 points, really. Um, they can all exchange their weapons for power weapons, so this is cool. So they all come with a pistol and a chain blade, so they all get the extra attack, but you can exchange every every close combat weapon for a power weapon for 5 points, which is, which is cheap, you have to admit. Um, 1 in 3 of them can also exchange their pistol for a plasma pistol or a hand, hand flamer. Um, to be honest, I wouldn't do that, because you can have you can exchange the weapons of your uh, of your bikes so having an additional plasma pistol or hand flamer doesn't uh, doesn't make any sense so yeah um, yeah and the, the uh, also they can ex like I said they can exchange their, their bolters for the following um, they can have twin linked flamers so the bikes the bike bolters can have twin linked flamers for 45 points, twin linked melters for 75 points, and twin linked plasma guns for 75 points. So now I have to say the Outrider bikes are the best bike models ever made by AGW. They have a big enough ground clearance and uh, overall look very nice, very sleek. They look like awesome sci fi bikes. Um, but they are overpriced in the game. 90 points for 3 bikes is expensive. You have to buy a sergeant. Then you have to buy the extra weapons, which are also very highly priced. So you basically pay 165 points for 3 twin linked melters. With a 2 up save and 1 wound. Uh... I don't know. I'm, I think they should reduce the costs of the upgrades a little bit. 
uh, maybe reduce the cost of the upgrades to 60 and the base cost of the squad to 70 with the sergeant included because now it is they are ama they are amazing models they look totally fine um but they are just a little overpriced and outclassed in very many ways by the uh, by the sky hunter jet bikes so i think they need a little tweaking so now we talk about the javelin attack speeder um they are a good anti-tank choice, I find, because they can also deep strike. Uh, they are just 55 points, and they have armor 11 up front, and I think even on the side, so you can bolt them to death, which is also very nice um, for 55 points. Uh, you can exchange the front arc heavy bolter for a multi-melter or a heavy flamer. Uh, the unit can deep strike and have, uh, as I said already, and they have strafing run. So they hit every non uh, they hit every non flying target with plus one, which is really nice. So they hit you on twos. Uh, they come with a cyclone missile launcher base, but they can exchange the exchange them for twin linked glass cans. I personally wouldn't do it, although the um, the twin linked glass cannon can punch through armor 14 targets and force a dis uh, and force an explode result. I would say that you shouldn't do that because you only get one twin link shot. Uh, uh, other than the cyclone launcher, which gives you two twin link shots, and with the deep strike you can, for example, deep strike next to an artillery piece, and then you can just blow it up with multiple shots. So. I wouldn't use it to hunt heavy tanks. So now we talk about the jet bike sky hunter squadron. They cost 135 points base. Um, they do not come with a sergeant. So you, like in the outrider squad, you have to buy a sergeant for the squad if you want to have one. Um, they have a two up armor save uh, added to their. Uh, to uh, to their five up uh, to their five toughness toughness five which is very good and the the sky hunter jet bikes all come with heavy bolters so they bring quite a bit of firepower um and for each uh, for all uh, for each of the three bikes you can take a mo uh, can take a special weapon so multi melters for 10 points plasma cannon for 15 points volkite culverine for uh, for 10 points, uh, to be honest, me being a white scars player, um, I would, I wouldn't take the plasma cannon, even though it's a good weapon. Strength seven, a small blast is a good weapon. Arguably, can't do anything wrong with it, usually. But when when you jink with the jet bikes, you can't shoot it anymore because you have to snapshot, and it's just, uh, it's a templated weapon. Or it's a blast worth weapon rather, so I I wouldn't do it because the jet bikes, uh, when the enemy sees them, they are going to attract a lot of firepower because of their tankiness and like turbo boosting to the other side of the map. Um, what how I like to use them is with either volkite culver uh, volkite uh, culverins, yes, or multi melters. When I give them multi melters, I also give them. Uh, melter bombs to hunt tanks, but uh, usually I just go for the coverings and uh, destroy hordes with the jet bike squads. So and yeah, they are tanky. Two up armor save, five uh, five toughness, and they can jink. And for white scars, they can jink even better. So yeah, they are amazing. I would definitely take them. So now. We talk about the land speeder squadron. It's the smaller land speeder you also know from 40k, or the land speeder you know from uh, from the retro land speeder from Rogue Trader. Um, the first weapon they can have is a they they don't have to come with the weapon, but they can have uh, on the first slot a graviton gun for 15 points, a havoc launcher for 15 points, a heavy bolter for 15 points. Or a plasma cannon for 30 points. There are some nice weapons in here. 
for example the graviton gun you can just deep strike them somewhere and then just haywire some vehicles because they uh, they cause some penetrating hit on two up uh, they cause a glance on two up and on six up a penetrating hit graph weapons in in 30k only having like I think AP5 or AP4 doesn't do anything with the uh, doesn't do anything with the penetrating hits but generally they are a good choice if you want to glance vehicles to death and the land speed is very cheap for 40 points so for 55 points you can threaten other you can threaten other vehicles after a deep strike then the second weapon slot can be uh, has be has comes with a heavy bolter can exchange for free for a, a heavy flamer or a multi melter can have 10 points for a volkite culverin um so basically you can have them in like an anti tank loadout or in uh, you can have them in an anti tank loadout or an or an anti infantry loadout um, i haven't seen them used and i think the uh, the models for itself are uh, a little bit overpriced at 70 euros for a 40 points model i would rather use the 40k land speeder and uh yeah kind of just uh, convert it yourself because that's what the most people did before the model for them got released um th just exchange the driver extra exchange the driver torso and uh, the shoulder pads and the helmet and you should be fine um they are a good choice i think they uh i will definitely get some for my white scars and yeah that has been it for the video um we will continue with the fast attack slots next week um and we will uh, until then See you on in the next video. Bye-bye.